I am using a Thermaltake Core V21 MATX compatible case. I chose the case that I did because it is a horizontal configuration instead of the traditional vertical configuration. The cooler is from Deepcool. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the name of the cooler. The CPU we are using is the Intel Core i7-9700 for RAM. We are reusing the RAM that came with the original machine. For the graphics card, I will be using an AMD Radeon RX 6600. For the motherboard, I will be using the original board. Uh, it is called a ASRock B360M IBR1. The power supply is a 1000 watt power supply from Pistar. It is 80 plus gold. For storage, I will be using a 1TB M.2 SSD. It is also going to be my boot drive. For the thermal paste, I will be using Corsair's TM30 thermal paste. You're going to want to put your motherboard on, um, if you still have it, your motherboard box. Uh, then we can install the CPU using the same methods you are seeing now. We can now start installing the RAM like you're seeing as well. Uh, then, once that's complete, we install the M.2 SSD. Once your CPU is installed, you can now apply the thermal paste on the CPU like how I'm doing. Then we will install the heatsink, which is part of the overall cooling mechanism you put on the motherboard for air cooling. Uh, when tightening the screws on your air cooler, be sure to keep the pressure equal. You can now install one of the fans if you want. Most people don't, but this is the fan that goes on the heatsink itself. Now that your partially completed PC is in your case, you can now install your graphics card. Now put your power supply into the power supply uh, space or area, slot, whatever you want to call it, um, in your case and secure it. Now that the power supply is secured, we can route the cables to their ports and connect them. As you are doing this, be careful as some of the connectors can be fragile. To create your uh, installation media, search for the Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. Um, click the appropriate link. Once you are on the page with your download options for this, um, you will have a few options. Since we are doing a clean install of Windows 11, we will choose Create Windows 11 Install Media. Once the tool is downloaded, open the tool and agree to the terms of service. You will then select your language and edition. Once you get to the select USB flash drive section, you, you choose your specific target, which is where the ISO file, the file that Windows technically is when you download it, uh, that's where it'll go. You will then just click next, wait for the download uh, to your USB device to complete. This is when it's making it a bootable device. Uh, once the tool is done making the drive, bootable, click finish and remove the drive. It's as simple as that. Go to your new machine, the one you built, and push repeatedly the button that allows you to either boot into your BIOS or your boot options. Now that you're in your boot options, use arrow keys to navigate to your USB. Uh, press the button or buttons that allow you to boot from the USB. When you see a purple Windows startup screen, just click uh, the install button, uh, then click next. Uh, now on your screen, there will be a small period of waiting. Once that is done, there will be another TOS, click accept, and then next. This will be where we 
choose what we actually want to do with our boot media. For this video, we are choosing custom installed windows only. This part is a little scary, so it is really important you pay attention. Um, on the partition, click delete everything as it allows you to do. Then uh, click the new button. This has a yellow star next to it. Uh, then you click apply and then next. Windows is now doing some pre-installation installation. Follow all the steps you see on your screen. Some of the steps you may encounter are actually optional. Now you are able to name your computer. Sign into an Outlook account you may have. I used my Xbox Live account for my email for this um, because my email ends at at live.com uh, it should give you an idea of how old the email is you may have at outlook.com uh, once this is complete go to more options um, once you're below the area that shows you your many options to restore from if you have other Windows 11 PCs associated with your account, um, go down and select the set up as new PC button. Uh, then once that's done, you will create your own pin number. You can also do a password. Uh, once this is complete, change any necessary privacy settings as you wish. Um, and then you, there is a big blue button that you will probably end up clicking a few times if you don't scroll all the way down. There are quite a few privacy settings to sometimes deal with. Now that this is done, I would like to say congratulations. You are now able to use the PC you built and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.